Welcome back. All right. So after taking a quick break, um, on, let's see what's up. These boon dock dwellers have been standing around. Huh. Looks like they're lucky. Their lord is the radio blade master. Otherwise, they'd have plenty to answer for. Yo, you want to start something? He at least seems like a nice, upright gentleman. That's fair. You may be asking what I'm looking for. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I was gonna heal, but I should be fine. I don't imagine there being a battle. Strutting around another lord's territory. How pompous can you get? It sounds like there's a real VIP here. Well, let's return to the manor for now. Hmm. You got it. Let's go. Oh. Hey, isn't that... Oh, it's Duke Cayenne. Oh. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's no need to be hasty. At least give my proposal some thought. Your attendance would add an extra discreet prestige in our gathering. I'm merely the lord of a minor rural region. Surely you overestimate the importance of my presence. A man's worth is not determined by himself, but by those he rubs elbows with. And while I'm sure you understand, I'd appreciate if you didn't do anything to cause me unnecessary conflict. I'm not sure given combat training in the Imperial Army is something you ought to be doing either. After all, you of us want any trouble now, do you? Ah, and with that, I bid you fond farewell. Oh, and my compliments on the excellent tea. I am honored, Your Grace. See ya. Excuse us. My visitor, young Laura, and Yusus Abarei, it's me. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Grace. I appreciate all you continue to do for my father. They must know him. The other Macal tends to know. I wasn't expecting him to show up here of all people. That's Duke Kayan. Head of the foremost of the four great houses and ruler of the port city of Ortis. His authority extends over the entire province of Lemaire to the west. Ah. I'd love to stay and talk a while, but I'm afraid uh, other, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll endeavor to arrange an opportunity. Rooms to be in the near future. And I bet you will. Oh, what are we here? So you're Thor's Military Academy's Class 7, huh? Uh, how do you? Oh, just happen to do a little leisure time reading about your class. Not a bad looking bunch? Good, good. Enough of the chit chat, disgrace awaits. Excuse us. See you, kids. Who were those men? They don't look like soldiers from the provincial army, that's for sure. They did seem to know about our class. I presume they're personal bodyguards hired by Duke Cayenne. Hey, what's up, dude? Epic. Father. Ha <laughs> ha, you needn't look so concerned. However, it seems they've finally begun to act word. The noble faction has begun acting in secret? Indeed, for the past month they've been quite active behind closed doors. No doubt they're trying to reform their unity, holding conference after conference all across the country. Of course, I'm sure this isn't news to your youngest classmate. Oh, well, yeah. Intelligence division all on edge, wondering whether they're about to start a full-scale conflict with, conflict with the reformists. Seriously? So that's what they've been up to scurrying around all this time. But since Duke Cayenne's basically the leader of the noble faction, I was sure I sure wasn't expecting him to come all the way out here in person. Yeah, that is kinda odd. They appear to be planning a large conference in the near future to be to be attended by all members of the noble faction. The Duke came all out of his way here to insist that I attend. But father, you're not even a member. Quite right, my lady. 
Your father has long kept his distance from the faction. In the same way, he has also kept space between himself and the performers, preferring to remain neutral. Hashtag fair. Also, this dude wanted to straight up be a bracer. It's epic. Dude's got good morality. However, they were convinced that all nobles should be belong to the noble faction. I've heard that a quiet force will about bringing those nobles who don't support their faction into their ranks. Would I be incorrect assuming that my family is involved in all this? I'm afraid so. There's been some disagreement over whether Duke Hyun or Duke Alberia should lead the four great houses. But I, but I expect that either way would bring the same platform to the table. Aw, oh, you look so sad. If you don't mind me asking, you know... Do you happen to know where my family stands on the issue? Huh, you needn't worry about your family's illusions. Lord Schwarzer is widely known as an even more obstinate man than I. I can't imagine that he'd have any interest in supporting the questionable actions of other nobles. I see, I'm actually a little relieved to hear you say so. Oh, hold on a moment. Perhaps there's more we can make. There's a more there's a move we can make after all. I'm afraid I'll be leaving the Graham again on another one of my little trips. I apologize for the suddenness, but please tell me the things in my absence. As you wish, my lord. Father? Wow, well that was sudden. I believe in acting swiftly and decisively. I intend to establish contact with all the nobles who remain neutral in the ongoing factional conflict. So as to prevent them being taken in by the noble faction's coercive methods. A prudent course of action, I think. In that case, I'd be happy to come with you. Oh, it's Tobal! What are you doing here? Ah, so you're here as well. Oh, I wouldn't miss the chance to catch a glimpse of the majestic team in Cayenne. Did you know he left in a limousine that came all the way from the Rayhard? Wait, then. I couldn't have. Did it belong to the Alborea family? Well, Rufus Alborea got into it, so yeah, I'd say that's likely. Couldn't ask for a classier escort. Whoa. Even Rufus is involved? was here. Well, he is the heir to the Alberia family. Considering our visitor was none other than Duke Kayan, it's not all surprising that Rufus would pick him up. But I didn't know that he just... I didn't... I know you didn't just come here to volunteer your company on my trip. Well, it just happens that these guys have brought me a pretty curious story. We've got information that a mechanical monster appeared on the highway outside the ground. Is that so? I believe this is the first time once appeared since the counteroffensive of Sir Cassius launched two years ago. That's right. I'm gonna think of it, that was the first time we met, wasn't it? It was indeed. What a strange coincidence. Have, any, have you found any others? It's just a hunch, but I suspect that it may have been released as a diversion. I concur. Perhaps you should come with me as... Alright, that's what I wanted to hear! They're like, I have no idea what they're talking about, but okay. So I can't just say anything for certain yet. But if we turn up anything concrete, I'll be sure to tell Sarah and she'll pass it along. Alright, so now what? Alright, here's what I got for you this afternoon. A golden catch. Crawling all fishermen, can someone help catch an elusive gold salmon? Ah, this is what it was. Right. Yep. Cool. Got it. Leave it to us. Just make sure you lock up before you leave for the night. Someone else should be coming in to take care of things tomorrow. Understood. We'll do our best to take care of the guild in your absence. Ah, I wish you all well in your studies, and I hope you forgive me for leaving so suddenly. Nothing to worry, Father. 
<laughs> I do words real good. I look forward to our next meeting. As do I. You show great promise as a swordsman. I hope you'll continue to devote yourself to your studies and training alongside my daughter. I'm on it, sir. In fact, I hope you will... All of you will look past her uncouth father and continue giving her her friendship and support. As a single father, the fact that I have yet to hear any tales of a budding romance concerning my daughter has me worried. Uh, father? <laughs> she sure does seem popular with the girls, though. <laughs> Catch you later, then. Get my best to Sarah. What a good dad. Why must he always be so... Honestly, you've got one amazing dad. Free-spirited, open-minded, not to mention incredibly strong. Having met him, I can tell how you grew up like you did. Huh? <laughs> Reen's right, you know. You're leaving proof that parents lead... Great parents lead to great children. That's true. I suppose having someone like him in your life as a role model would naturally lead you to aspire to greatness. That or feel woefully inadequate in comparison to the of inferiority complex. But all told, you're living proof the daughter of the how our state household has grown up in sound mind and body. And moving on, to what is it? Yep. Look at her trying to change the subject. I am not! Silence! Additional quest was added after you return to get Okay. Okay. Go to the end. So real quick. Please take this lady. Oh, oh! Isn't this a recipe for one of them? Yep. Cool. Come on. Straight up. Is she gonna give me that? For free? Oh. Well, how nice of you. Hey! Hello, everyone. Have you come after seeing the bequest I sent to Toval? That's right. You're in search of one of those elusive fish, correct? I am, I am. I feel like I should apologize for asking you guys to help me with a personal request, but are you up for it? If you are, I can show the details with you all right now. Let's do it. My schedule just happens to have an opening. Ah, thank you very much. Just like the Bacosta mentioned, I want you guys to seek out a certain elusive fish for me. It's a particular variety of salmon known as a gold salmon. Just like the name says, its body has a golden glow, not unlike the look of Goldia herself. It must be an exquisite fish. It sounds rather garish, honestly, but I'd love to... I'd have to see it to judge for myself. I've never seen this fish before, Weber. Weber? Weber? Unfortunately, all I know is that I've heard from the rumors. Bambi is usually fishing at the back of the unit is actually the one who told me about it. Its golden color isn't the only distinctive trait either, he said. You mentioned that its flavor is to die for, too. Oh, now you got my attention. Of course. That's certainly understandable. After hearing about it so much, I wanted nothing more than to try it. I've been bugging Tovo about it for quite a while now, and now it seems like, thanks to you, I might finally get my chance to try it. Fishing, huh? I guess Braithers never take on jobs like this. This fish is so elusive, though, what are the chances we could even catch one before the day's end? That does seem to be the most obvious issue here. Is it even possible to catch the fish in Lake Evan? It doesn't seem so, unfortunately. Ben mentioned that he did catch several of them here at one point, but he hasn't found one on the end of his line for several decades now. Decades? It doesn't exactly inspire confidence, you know. Well, I've actually received some promising info from Tobol that put me back on the trail. He claims to see a golden spark on the river along the highway several times now. All the sparkle sightings have been in different locations, though. Well, at least that narrows our search to the river. True, it would be much easier trying to search the lake with me. Won't be easy, but I'd be pleased as punch if you'd catch one. Now that I think of it, do you have the right tools for the job? Sure do. I brought my rod with me. Will this work? Hmm, let's see what you got here. My word, this is Lake Lord Company's highest grade fishing rod. The gold salmon is supposedly quite a hefty fish, but catching it should be no issue with this. 
You must have fishing in your blood if you have a rod this nice. <laughs> Thanks. I do like it, by the way, that Reen and Lloyd are just like fishing. They're just like all fish. It's like, I like it. Yeah, let's go. I thought so. I was like, I was like 90% sure I could fish, but I forgot. You can tell it's been a while since I've played this game. Like, but yeah, I was like, I knew it was. Oh, it's Annabelle. That shiny golden glow drool. I simply can't wait to catch it. Hold on. Seems like a good spot to fish, but I wasn't expecting someone to be here already. Yep. I'm surprised she strayed this far. Let me try talking to her. Yeah, might as well. Excuse me, can we talk to you for a moment? Who, who are you? Wait, I recognize you. You're that military academy student who saved me in my hour of need several months ago. Oh yeah, I think we did meet once before. Oh, so you know? Yeah, we ran into her while we were out in Celtic on our very first field study. And the task involved delivering a lost wallet to its owner. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Whew! Sneeze. I'm very grateful for what you did for me. Sadly, this wallet has become rather lighter since you returned it to me. Oh? May I ask what brings you out here? I would have thought that that was obvious. I'm trying to catch my dinner, of course. Some may think of fishing as a leisurely hobby, but I would beg to differ. It's proven to be an essential survival skill. I, I see. I don't remember it being anything like this last time. So what inspired you to come this far out of town to fish? You could have just sat on the dock in the ground, right? She could have, yes. The ground is conveniently stationed right on the shores of Lake Ebel, after all. Surely it wasn't necessary to break the dangers of the highway to come out just to fish. Hehe, <laughs> that's where you're wrong, I'm afraid. A first-class angler needs a first-class spot. Easy fishing on the shores of a peaceful lake just wouldn't satisfy me. <laughs> Sounds like you're after something special, bad guess. Indeed I am. I've come here seeking the elusive golden salmon. I heard tales of it from a gentleman on the ground by the name of Bim. But he also informed me that it cannot be found in Lake Ebel, which is what led me to the spot. And sure enough, long ago, I finally caught a glimpse of a golden shimmer beneath the water's surface here. A golden shimmer? That sounds a lot like what Toba said he saw. Yep. Well then, let us compete to see who can catch a golden salmon first! Oh, sad, we seem to find no location. True enough, let's get fishing. Let's do it. This looks like a nice spot. Let's get it. Tap 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 tap. Jeez, this is hard. Whew! Got a fight with that one. Now that's a catch. That is a catch. Oh my arm. Whoa. Impossible.
going on? Gold salmon before me? How is this happening? Ah, gee. I can feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> Still, thank you very much for telling us about the golden shimmer you saw. We may not have thought the fish here without their guidance. Fair play is a necessary element in any competition. Think nothing of it. Besides, I simply paid the price for underestimating you. It was my fault that I lost. I thought my experiences over the past several months had strengthened me, but it seems I still have room to improve. And improve I shall until one day I'm going across the land as the finest anger in all of Heraponia! Well then, I bid you good day. She disappears into the starlight. Word. So I guess I can fish here now. Straight up. Let's go. <laughs> Might as well fish the other two. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Huh, got not it. Bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, I'll take that. What all? Tap, 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 Oh goodness, it wasn't a beginner rod. Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait. This way? What a large monster. We'll need to be careful. Nah, we're good. Because we're gonna go like this, and go around, and out, like so. Do we get back to the guild and start fouling everything away? We'll return to the guild. Why not? Members of Class A, yep. Which following instructions to level up similarly. And it all went well. I really passed out on the couch. Oh, are you finished? Yeah, we just finished sorting everything out. Goodness, this was exhausting. That little brat, she could have at least tried to help out instead of lying like a house cat. Well, we're almost finished. Uh, Alright then, still. It really goes to show how top rate Tobal is. He fulfills a lot of requests on his own. And still has time to handle all the day to day realities of running a guild branch. Indeed, it's even more impressive when you consider that he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from a bracer. The guild may have forced out... May have been forced out of the country, but he's still trying. Yup. If you look at all these records, it's clear that people really trust him and rely on him for help. It's very true, but... Is something the matter? I was just thinking, your phrase to explain the central role to the people of other countries. Or are they not just as essential to Well, you may be right. And not just because they help maintain public order and provide other services. That ideal, prioritizing the protections of civilians above all else, is pretty noble. And it's something people admire. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's that form of nobility that's beginning to fall by the wayside with an Erebonius aristocracy. Sure, the issue is this lack of why we should have it. The guild is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism, and far too little on practicality. Donations of public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. It's no stretch to say that with the young powers it is now, the guild's removal was inevitable. That's what my brother said once when we discussed this. Jesus. Looks like his brother is running on his mind. I suppose that's another way to look at it. But it does carry more weight coming from Rufus Operea. Uh, Emma, they're so big. <laughs> and soft. 
she doesn't even have to be awake to be irritant. <laughs> anyway. Yup. Oh. Hey, excuse me, is anyone here? Oh, you're the girl who works at Mato Mateo's store, aren't you? Oh, Lady Laura. Is Tobo here by any chance? I'm afraid Tobo's out of town on business at the moment. There's something the matter. They haven't come home. Julian and Carno still haven't come back from the castle. What? Did those two go to the Lahigran castle? Surely you don't mean to suggest they took a boat without any supervision. I'm afraid so. They said something about going on an adventure, and then they took one of the boats without even asking. It's evening now, and they still haven't come back. That sounds like a serious problem. Yeah, and right when Tomo was away from the guild, too. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Like Zoinks, dude! Well. How about you dash? I'll have Klaus repair us a boat at once. Full win! Oh. Sweating up and searching the town does seem to be the best course of action. Thank you! Rest assured, we'll do all we can to find them. The group searched the town from top to bottom, but they found no sign of the missing children. And by the time the other residents became aware of what happened, evening had given way to night. Well, looks like we gotta go to the castle. Well, I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. Looks like they really did head out toward the castle in a boat. The lake's been calm. There's no sign of a boat anymore. Uh, so at least, so at least it's unlikely they capsized. Yawn. Guess that leaves the castle then, right? The Hooking Castle was once the stronghold of the Eisenritter, and while the Arcade family is still its stewards, it's rare that anyone ventures inside. I hope nothing terrible has happened to them. Your parents are really worried, too. I've asked them to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but... At this point, all we can do is venture into the castle and see what we find. We have to use it. We have use of a boat, do we not? We do. A couple of, student, a couple of students from the RC8 school are preparing an orbital boat as far as we speak. It does worry me that it has started to go misty again, though. Well, let's head down to the wharf. Let's make sure all of our equipment is sorted out just before we... And we have everything we need, just in case. Right, let's hurry. This is the part where you need to you need to make sure your items are stored. I can't believe this. Where is that stupid son of mine? The sun's already set. Hurry up and get back here. Calm down, Sven. Man is mad. I don't necessarily blame him. Aw, it's not your fault, Chloe. Okay. Hey yo. I've prepared a boat for you over there. Yeah, good luck out there, you guys. Hey, atmosphere is setting me up. Do take care out there. We shall be awaiting your swift return. You got it! I'm getting on the boat! Give me the boat! I see the overboat boat has been prepared. My lady. Yes, we finished getting ready for the departure. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Lisa, they had time to be excited for a boat ride. I've operated open boats before, so I'll steer us to our destination. All right, we'll leave it to you then. My lady, please wait. I still feel that we ought to be the ones going out and searching. You should not have to trouble yourself with matters like these. I appreciate your concern, but as the Viscount's daughter. Yep. I'm 
is fall under the scope of our own field study. Can't deny that. Alright, let's go. The last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago, and there was no sign of anything unusual. Then it shouldn't be that dangerous. Hmm, really. The wind blowing from the direction of the castle does feel pure. It said that the captain's atmosphere is cold and clear due to its connections with St. Sandlot and Eisenritter. Although it's impossible to rail out that an accident may have befallen them. Either way, get on! Alright. Depart! Yeah, we're ready when you are. Please take care, my lady. Yep. Thank you, and I promise that we'll be safe out there. What do you think is waiting for us inside the castle? So you passed out on the couch the moment we returned to the guild, but now you're simply popping with energy. No, you know this isn't a game, right? I know, I know. But as long as Lamb is with us, there's nothing to worry about. Let's just grab those kids and we can, so we can go exploring! Um, Nilium. She doesn't seem nervous in the slightest. Did you guys just hear a bell? Yeah, it came from the direction of the castle. Mount well, Lahagrin Castle does have a bell tower. But as far as I was aware, access to it had been sealed off. Also, look at that. That looks epic. Um, and who's ringing you? A bell tolling at the back of an old stronghold of the Eisenhower. We'd best be prepared for anything. We're almost there. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head ashore. Well, here we are. Sure enough, there's another boat. Hey, do you think that's the boat the children took? I can't imagine who else it would be. At least they appear to have reached the castle safely. And it's safe to assume they went inside as well. That's well past Sunday now. We can find them as soon as we can. Looks like the path will take us up the cliff. Mind your footing, though. It's night and dark, and the trail is uneven. Could you imagine, like, a quick time event where I had to go up there safely? So this is St. Sandlot's old stronghold, Lowengrin Castle. Lowengrin? This is the first time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. That's a big... That? Something strange about the castle. Yeah. Is that glow just the moonlight? Can't be. That's what's so quiet. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Also, that's a good shadow. Uh... Holy crap, it's glowing. I like that. That's such a good picture. So this is Lohengrin Castle, the ancient stronghold of Saint Sandlar, gathering place of the warriors of old. It looks even more beautiful up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. I feel it too, like something is writhing around inside. Wait, what kind of something? What kind of indeed, Millie? I can definitely sense the presence of the dead. Holy crap. Emma? I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering.
All right. We're going to stop here, and then I will pick up next time, because yes, and then we will explore Lowengrin Castle. See you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta!